This AHDB Beef and Lamb funded project aims to evaluate how measuring and recording information on farm can significantly improve how beef businesses are run. This film is part of a series of short clips where the benefits of data collection and analysis are discussed on a range of different beef enterprises. Neil Rowe is one of the farmers working with us on this project. Let's hear how data collection and analysis forms a key part of Neil's business. Why did you decide to become involved in the Beef KPI project? We were really looking for a, for a beef system which is based on science and numbers and systems whereby we've got information that we can make decisions that improve the profitability of the business. And KPIs are good because it allows us to compare our own performance year on year. Secondly, we can compare our performance with the rest of the breed yes. and thirdly we can compare our performance with AHDB benchmark figures such as farm bench and we can see how we're ranking and we, it highlights the areas that we need to concentrate on to improve the business. So we're here at Neil's handling facilities. Neil, can you just tell me a little bit about the data that you collect? So for the whole herd we collect data four times a year. Yes. We start with the calving. Okay. And on day one, the calves get an EID tag, they're weighed, we uh, record the details about the calving. The second time the whole herd comes through is for a pre breeding check. Um, and at that point, the cows are weighed and their body condition scored, they have their um, ovaries checked. And that, we usually do that 21 days before the bulls go out, and that gives us a chance to do any uh, treatments if we need to. Yeah. And then when do you run them through the crush again? The next time will be uh, for weaning. Yes. And um, we bring the whole herd comes in. We separate them. The calves go through. They're weighed for their uh, weaning weight, and the cows are, go through and they're weighed and conditions scored. And then TB testing is also a, a great opportunity to record that data as well. Absolutely. It's, uh, you're having to run the cows through the crush anyway, so you might as well weigh them and conditions score them at the same time. here with some of Neil's spring calving sucker cows and their calves. Can you tell me Neil which KPIs are important? The first one is age at first calving. You get the maximum number of heifers calving at 23 and 24 months. The second one is the weaning weight of the calf divided by the mature weight of the cow. That KPI will encapture pretty much everything there is to know about your breeding herd. So we take the total weight of the cows that go to the bull and divide that by the total weight of the calves when they're weaned. Um, we need to have a figure well above 50% in order to be profitable. Over the last six years, we've brought our mature cow weight down from 685 kilos, and we've now got it down at 638, and that's reduced the cost of wintering a cow by 50 pounds a cow. So it shows what, what difference it can, can make by using that data and analysing yeah. that data. Yeah. We've made, made some real... It, it's a real key uh, profit driver for us. The last one is the calving period. Uh, and we need to get the maximum number of calves born in the first 21 days of the 60 day breeding window. So as part of the Beef KPI project, Sarah Hughes at the University of Nottingham has done some work um, on your BCMS data. Yeah. Well, can you just explain what she's found? Yeah, one of the key performance indicators for us is looking to see how many cows calve in the first Three week cycle, second three week cycle, third week cycle, because we know that around about 100% of our profit comes from the cows born in the first three weeks. Second three weeks, they break even. Anything born after that is going to lose money all the time. Mm -hmm. So that's a really key one for us. Um, so this graph here is showing that since 2011, we've been well above the 60% target. Um, apart from one year in 2014, where we tried a different breeding protocol, yeah. um, and it didn't quite work. So we're now with the autumn calving sucker cows and their heifer calves. Can you just talk a little bit about age at first calving? So age at first calving is really important for us and we need to get the maximum number of heifers calved between 23 and 24 months of age. Yeah. Um, so in order to do that we have to get them growing really well so they need to be uh, weaned at a good weight and then we need to get them up to 400 kilos before around 30 months of age yeah. so we can boil them to calve at 23, 24. And you mentioned that you always uh, choose those heifers that were born in the first three weeks yeah. of the calving period. Why Why do you do that? Yeah, that, that 
works for two reasons. For, for the, in, in terms of the heifers, it's because we're selecting them for fertility. Yeah. Most fertile heifers are going to be out of most fertile cows, uh, and they'll be calving in the first three weeks of the calving window. It is great to see how Neil uses the data he collects to make everyday management decisions which help increase the profitability of his business. Whatever the size or type of beef enterprise, it pays to keep good records and review them regularly to find those areas where improvements can be made or equally where a change or new investment has made a real difference to the bottom line. Further resources on the general topic of recording information on farm for better returns can be found on the website.